Java 21 should be super easy to install and that's exactly what I'm about to teach you in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to download Java 21 is to go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Java 21. Feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. However, if you just wanna follow along, go ahead and scroll down to step one and click on Java 21. That is going to bring you over here, which is the Java official website. You're going to scroll down and you're going to select JDK 21 and then go ahead and select Windows. Let's scroll down, find the x64 installer and click on this little blue line in here. That'll begin the download immediately for the Java installer. Now guys, while Java is downloading real quick, if you're looking for a Minecraft server, use the first link in the description to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. You can set up a server in less than five minutes, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that allows you to use mod packs with just a click of a button and they have locations all around the world. So you don't even have to worry about lagging or anything like that. I'm gonna leave that link for you guys to get 25% off. Take advantage of the deal before it goes away and let's keep going with the tutorial now once you finish downloading the java installer go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop you can find it here in your recent downloads or you could head over to your downloads folder within your pc and probably find this in here now the reason i'm about to install java is because i was trying to install optifine for minecraft which is a mod for minecraft and every time i'll try to open the installer for the mod i'll get this in here and i couldn't i couldn't launch the installer so i need that i need java 21 now once we have the installer in here let's go ahead and right click on it and run it as an admin when you try to open it as an admin it's going to give you a little prompt in there asking you to allow it to run go ahead and allow it and then you're gonna get this in here which is the installer go ahead and click on next click next one more time and now just wait for java 21 to finish installing it's really super simple guys and if you're having any issues trying to open jar files or stuff like that this is definitely going to fix it let's go ahead and hit close and now we could delete the java installer now as you can see optifying is still this random file in here of course i could right click on it now and click open with and use java and that is probably going to fix it and that is going to open the installer as you can see in here but there's also something else you can do if you don't want to go through that process you could just run a jar fix after you install java now running a jar fix is going to fix all those files and it's going to make sure that whenever you double click on it it opens properly so to run a jar fix click on the third link in the description which is our guide on how to download and run a jar fix but i'm going to guide you through it as it is pretty simple just scroll down to step one click on download jar fix here that is going to bring you to the jar fix official page click on this little blue nine in here jarfix.exe once you click in there, the download for Jarfix will begin. Now, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like we did with the installer of Java. And again, let's go ahead and right click on it and run it as an admin. You might get a prompt asking you to allow it to run. Once you do, go ahead and click yes. And now, as you can see, we have run Java on our computer. And if we hit OK now, we could delete the Jarfix. And now we could just double click on Optifine or whatever mod or whatever thing we're trying to do using Java 21. As you can see, it will work. Also, you can now head over to your auto remove programs within your computer. Just go ahead and open auto remove program in here and in here we could search on apps just type java and you would see which javas you have installed if you see java 21 in here you are good you finally installed it also if you have any older javas and you're having compatibility issues you could just go ahead and get rid of your older javas in here that has been everything from today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and as always bye bye